Hello everybody, it's Danielle with Rustic Joyful Food, and today we're talking about Easter and Passover and lamb. Okay, so today we're gonna demystify the entire lamb making, making a rack of lamb process. So essentially what it is, is um, just the rib bones with that gorgeous eye meat running all down the side of it. And if you haven't had a lamb chop before, you guys are in for such a massive treat. It's so easy to make this. If you think about it, we're gonna make a really flavorful butter. We're gonna spread it all over the fat cap. And you don't have to do anything. If you want it to, if you want to get it trimmed down, you can go ahead and ask your butcher to trim it a little bit further for you. Um, but I actually really like it like this. I think that the fat is delicious, the meat is delicious. But I want to get started. I'll put this over here to the side, and we're gonna talk about this very simple butter that we're gonna put all over this before we sear it. So I've got a fork and some soft butter. We're gonna add some pepper, lots of cracked black pepper, even more than you think you need because the pepper really complements that flavor. A little bit of salt. And when we're talking about seasoning, um, and if you're ever feeling like, ah, how much seasoning do I put on certain meats? You want one teaspoon per pound of meat. I want two cloves of garlic. So I think that Easter is probably one of my favorite times of year, um, just because of what it represents. Same thing with Passover. I think that any holidays um, that revolve around God and your family are just wonderful. So I think that it's important to make some, like a special dinner, a special food. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking my little oregano and I'm pulling back against the stem so it easily removes all those pretty tasty leaves. Isn't that cool? I love this. Because if you try and pull them the other way, breaks. <laughs> and what we're essentially doing is making a compound butter. So if you think of a compound butter, it just means we're adding things to soft butter. So we've got mustard and garlic and beautiful herbs. And we're going to add it in and we're going to rub it all over the fat side of the lamb. So we've got this and our garlic already went in. We'll get everything off the board. And we'll just smash them up. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of fresh herbs. Like, you know, you chop them up and they smell so good. Perfect, so we've got this gorgeous butter. And so here's our lamb, Mr. Lamb, which is gonna be so good. So all I'm gonna do is take our butter and we're gonna get our hands dirty and we're gonna smear him all over. Okay, so this is the first side. We're gonna leave half the butter because after I smear all of this all over this guy, I'm gonna season him with a little bit more salt and pepper because I don't have quite two teaspoons in here and then I'm gonna sear him. When it comes out from the sear, I'm gonna put him on my little baking sheet, and then I'm gonna rub the rest of the butter over the top so it can really sink in and not get into the pan after the sear. Okay, so we're back with a screaming hot pan, and this little guy can go from right here on top of the stove top into our 450 degree oven. And this is gonna bake after we sear him. We're probably gonna go two to three minutes on either side. Look at that, I love it. So one last thing we're gonna do is take that other half of the butter that we talked about, with the garlic and the herbs, the oregano, the mustard, all that good stuff. We're gonna just top it right back on. Okay, you guys, so brown tastes good. Don't be afraid to get a really delicious crust on this. And if it starts to get smoky in your house, just crack open a window. So it's really all about the crust. So now what we're gonna do, because he's all brown and beautiful, is pop him in the oven, set your timer for 18 minutes. That's it. During these 18 minutes, what we're gonna do is make a delicious walnut pesto to go alongside and then you're gonna have a gorgeous lamb dinner. Perfect. So now we're gonna talk about pesto. So we've got one bunch of Italian flat leaf parsley, and then we've got some walnuts. We're gonna do about half a cup of walnuts. We're gonna do salt and pepper. We're gonna do some Parmesan cheese. He's already in the food processor, so don't worry about that. And then I want one clove of garlic. Because this is a sauce that we're not cooking, you really wanna be careful with that fresh raw garlic. If you have some prepared jarred garlic, go for that, that doesn't matter. So we're gonna smash our little clove. Use, use one that's on the smaller side. If he's big and it's a little bit pungent, just go ahead and only use half because you don't wanna really blow your guests out with that raw garlic burn. So we're gonna move this little one over. Okay, lemon. I'm gonna squeeze all of our lemon in here. So think of this as sort of like a really chunky, delicious dressing for our gorgeous lamb. And be really careful. Uh, don't stab your knife into the palm of your hand. And then we're gonna want about a good solid half a cup of olive oil. So we're gonna pulse first. You don't want nut butter. All right, so here's our pretty lamb. I'm just gonna set him right here on top of the butcher block. I'll use my knife to get him out. Oh, it feels so good. 
feels perfectly medium. And so all you want to do, I'm going to show you how to slice them too. If you want a single chop or a double chop, like this has been resting for about 10 minutes and you really want to make sure that you're resting. Um, this is my baby, do you hear him? He's so sweet. Okay, so we're gonna go down through here, go right through the bones, and I think a double chop is a good portion. But we've got perfectly medium rare, so we're gonna spoon these guys, we'll serve them right up. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous cut over here. We've got the double chops over on this side, and then I've just started to top these perfectly medium rare chops with our beautiful walnut pesto. And I always, you guys, I love just a little tiny sprinkling of extra salt just because you want that sort of salty bite with the meat. And this says Easter like nothing else. Pick a great salad, a side dish, maybe make some banana pudding for dessert, but this is gonna be the star of your Easter or your Passover. And we are super thankful for the lamb board for putting this all together. So make sure that you click to subscribe. We're really happy to have you here at Rustic Joyful Food. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful Easter and Passover.